Hi, I'm Al Williams. One of my little spare time projects lately has been a Brio Micro Altair 8800, uh, Micro Altair 8800, and as you can see, it's a fairly authentic looking Altair replica. Uh, it has uh, a much reduced size from the original and a few minor differences. Inside, it's very different. It's a uh, a Atmel chip emulating the 8080 and I was uh, fortunate enough to get to write some of that code or fix some of that code I should say to get the emulation a little more accurate and there's also a serial terminal in there based on the propeller uh, that Vince Briel uh, put together and Gary Jordan's done some work on to enhance it so we've had a lot of fun working on it with Vince and uh, he's been very gracious at uh, helping us get into it and and look at things so normally you use a VGA monitor and a PS2 keyboard which is hardly authentic but it's very convenient and you can load things off an SD card and, and all that's through that propeller terminal but I wanted a little more authentic feel so I have an ADS Regent 100 VT which is actually a VT52 style terminal and it's certainly period so let's see what I'm uh, running today. And of course it's Star Trek. Okay, so we have our orders. We have our short range scan. This certainly brings back memories to play Star Trek. Uh, let's see, there's nothing in this sector. So we'll do a short range scan. And we can see there's a Klingon in the sector to the right of us. So we'll go over that way at warp factor one. And of course, even then, there was advertising in, uh, on the computer. <laughs> so there's a Klingon. Let's see, I think I'll phaser him so I don't have to calculate the orbit, uh, the, the trajectory for the photon torpedo. This is a fairly rudimentary basic program because there's only 32k of RAM in that particular Altair. So uh, it does not have all the convenient navigation computers and all that that later Star Treks would have. So I'm not going to finish this game out, so I'm going to really zap him with a big phaser bolt. Okay, And so you can ask for help. Everything's a number. Uh, short and long range sensors. Let's see what our long range sensors say here. You can fire phasers, photon torpedoes, get a damage report, or you can look at the entire galaxy and I actually patched this. The original version that we got off the internet uh, actually showed you the entire galaxy when you did that. So of course that's wrong. You're only supposed to see the parts of the galaxy that you've either been to or scanned. So anyway, great fun. Uh, the the Altair is just a it was a very pleasant kit to build. I typically don't like to build kits. I like to build my own designs, but the front panel on this was so beautiful that I just could not resist. Yes, you can control it completely from the front panel and as you can see you can hook it up to a VGA monitor a PS2 keyboard uh, you can hook it up to a regular TV monitor or you can hook it up uh, to a serial terminal although that does require a little extra hardware and I've got instructions on exactly how I did that uh, available on the web so hope you enjoyed it I uh, hope it was a nostalgic trip down memory lane and thanks to Steve Weismuller for unloading this uh, ads terminal out of his attic and uh, and giving me some more junk for my wife to complain about being stored in my house. So, uh, enjoy it.